Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's Emsy here. Welcome to part four of my tarot collection videos. I'll be showing another 25 decks. I appreciate everyone that's watched, commented, liked so far. I love watching these sort of collection videos and seeing people's different tastes in tarot decks. So let's just get started. The first deck I'm going to show you is this one. It's the Tattoo Tarot. This one was gifted to me by my sister. She's a tattoo artist. And she liked the artwork on this and thought I'd appreciate it as well. And I do. I think it's a great deck. This one is a Marseille in style. So I don't use it as much as I would like to. Because I'm more drawn to the RWS sort of tarot system. That's what the guidebook looks like. That's what the back suit like. Quite vibrant. Red. I do think this is a really well illustrated deck though. I do like the art style. I like the, um, I suppose the traditional tattoo look you'd get. Uh, back in the day when someone would have a heart with a banner around it with mum tattooed in the banner or something. <laughs> That's what I think of when I see this sort of style. And yeah, it's very traditional. Thick lines, bold colours. I do like this look, I think it looks great. But they've got a Marseille for the minor, so it's um, pippish and not up for fully illustrated. But I do appreciate um, different systems, so I like to keep this one because I don't have a lot of Marseille style decks. I do like the small details in here, like the diamonds in here, and that's quite cool. And I like how traditional everything looks, like the wands, and you get like the curved swords and everything. Yeah, I think it's a nice little deck. And great colours and shading, like very simplistic in its style, but it works. And that's what you get in tattooing, don't you? It's not go too detailed or later on down the line, all the lines will blur together and you won't see the image. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's a great one. Yeah, I'm glad my sister got this for me. And it's the Tattoo Terror. The deck in my collection is this one. This is the Moon BB Magic Terror. I really love like the handmade feel of this one. It comes in this box, which you slide out. And I just really like the homemade feel of this. I think this is really cool. And it, get, it comes with a little ring binder guidebook, which you don't normally see that often. And I think that's pretty neat. There it comes with keywords for the cards and everything. I just really like this. I think this is an unusual way of presenting a tarot deck. A little cardboard box. It comes with some information cards that got like colours, what they represent, and everything. And quite thick cards as well, actually. That's what the backs look like. Very cosmic space in the world, planet Earth in the background. Yeah, I just really like the simplicity of the artwork in this one. So this one focuses a lot on the moon phase. That's why you have this extra moon card. So for this one, it's um, the Wayne and Gibbous moon. And this is all about release expectations. So I really like that layered effect, having that on there. And then the colour here, Psychic Ability, Spirit Guides. So it's got that extra layering of the cards, which I quite like, the simple design. And have like the owl for um, knowledge and everything. So I just really think this is a great little deck. It's very s simple but easy to read and it has um, keywords on it and everything. And it's quite a bit glossy in the car, but the car looks really nice. I just really like the simple style of it. It's quite a um, good one to pair with an archer deck that's a lot of. Um, collage based or 
a lot of photographs because it still has that sort of feel to it. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a great little deck. Self Sue. Yeah, they've renamed suits in this one. So you've got lasers, caves, blades. Got what the other one is now. And waves. There you go. Yeah, I just think it's really neat. Nab this one on eBay too. <laughs> My, my, most of my decks come from pretty much. So that's the um, Moon BB Magic Tower. Another deck in my collection is this one, the Moon Child Tower. I bought this because I wanted to know what the hype about was going on with this deck. It was everywhere. Everyone was rating how brilliant it was and I just had to figure it out for myself if this would work for me so it did like the artwork it's not my typical sort of style I'm not really into photography like collage type things that much but i do like it comes with a chunky guidebook with a lot of information i think the guidebook's really well done it has like, a lot of questions in it and keywords and i just really thought it was really well written so i thought that was a good thing about this deck and i like the backs the gold and I really like the edging as well. It's like a matte sort of gold. I think that's really beautiful. So this is what the cards look like. So it's very, really well, beautifully done. I like the colours and the effort that's been made to make this look so ethereal and like a lot of galaxy sort of imagery going on in these cards. Really like the start, I think, of all these sort of decks that came out got very popular. I think it's one of the first ones I thought right, started it all. <laughs> now you have lots of these decks now that look like this. I think it is a really pretty deck. Not one I've used a lot of before, really. Because usually I'm more drawn to like abstract, weird artwork. But I do really enjoy like the landscapes and some of these. I think that's absolutely stunning. I could see myself standing there looking at that. I think it is really pretty. I understand why it's so popular. I don't. I think like this will leave my collection because I do quite like the imagery and sort of get lost in these imagery. Like you feel like you're standing behind these two ladies looking out at that moon there. It's a sort of um feel I get with this these cards. I do prefer this um creator's oracle decks more than her tarot. I don't know why, but it's just my preference of her decks, but I will keep this one. I do like the guidebook, and it is stunning. Very well done. Collage type deck. Very kind of neutral, pastel sort of colours. I love that colour scheme of that. Beautiful. Yeah, it's a great little deck. Um, that's the Moon Child Tarot. Another deck I'll show you is this one. This is Tarot Disassembled. This comes with a guidebook as well, but that's on the bookshelf. But I really like this one because it um, shows the symbols of the tarot rather than an actual image. I like the edging. I really love matte edging. I think it's beautiful. I prefer it to any foiled or sh not holographic sort of one. And that's what the backs look like. And what I like about this is it pinpoints all the main imagery you'd see in a tarot deck. So, apart for the eight pentacles, you'll see this 
in the and just shows you like the key symbology you'd pick out to find out me of the cards and i bought this as like to learn more about the tarot and be more in tune with what's going on in the actual cards there's a lot of things you see in rws that um you might not notice at first like maybe like a rose or like a certain plant or an item in the background and i really like this because it shows you like the white dog or the fall the bag the pole he uses the sun in the background the cliffs the white rose everything i just really liked how it was broken down so here you have like the red flowers in the card and the different uh, suits table and the affinity sign and the Ouroboros sign things that you might not necessarily see so straight away and i think this is a great one to learn with and i bought that just for like if i ever feel like doing further study and just i was intrigued to see what the guidebook said about each card and i'm always learning tarot everyone is I always learn something different and i was really like the colours, it's quite bright as well, so I appreciate that too. Yeah, I just really like the brightness of colours and the simplicity of it, and I thought it was quite different, quite unique way of showing tarot. So that's why I bought it. So like here you've got the lantern with the hermit, and like the sticky holds, and the beard, and the cliff, and starry night, and the light from the lamp and everything but yeah i just thought it was great little deck and yeah i just love the how bright and funky it is too so <laughs> great little learner deck if you're into that learning tarot or you're new to it or just want to see a different interpretation of how cards are show so that's a tarot disassembled Another deck I have is this one, Tower of the Kingdoms. I absolutely love the bright colours in this. And uh, I think it's a beautiful deck. It's got a nice guidebook with all the information in it. What lets this um, tarot deck down is the quality of the cardstock. I've barely used it because I've only used it a couple of times and it's already got damaged. It's very papery. And... Yeah, it's just really disappointing, really, how bad it is. Like, there's so much being put into the effort of these. Like, the back's beautiful. It's very papery and cardboardy, and just one little bend, and you'll have a crease in it. There's no protection. It's literally like you're working with card. It's really not protected at all. So, it's, that's very disappointing. Like, it's quite thick. But it's just, yeah, if you're anywhere near any liquids or anything like that, it's just instantly going to be ruined. <laughs> so, but I do love the artwork and how stunning it is. It's very elemental in the suit, so it's all like focuses on that quite a lot. And I think the borders are beautiful, they different every time. But like the majors are like, rainbow borders and i just think the artwork's really beautiful and there's so much detail in here it's just the car stocks really let it down it's a shame because i'd use this more but i'm just worried about ruining it it just feels like a card like say you made a tarot deck yourself and you just used our basic art cards that's what it feels like to me but it is a beautiful deck, very bright and colourful, I do really like it. I just wish they had better cardstock. That Emperor colour is beautiful. But yeah, it's really, um, like if I just bent it like that, and sort of see it's going to crease. Oh, I don't want to do that because I've already damaged it. I had to sellotape the back of one of these cards where it got ripped. I don't even know how that happened. I'll show you if I find it. It is a stunning deck and really well illustrated. I love the elemental borders that will fire and everything. Yeah, let me try and find 
Now, even here you can sort of see there's like a line here right where the printing's not been consistent there's just like little things wrong with the production of this that's just let it down otherwise i think a lot of people would have this more like this for example it's got like a ridge on the back of it and i don't even know where that came from just some weird printing error or something but yeah on one of these i ripped back and i reuse these that much i'm scared to do so i can find the card now probably not let's find it found the card it's this one i have to set a tape it back where it ripped just really really papery cardstock but i do like the imagery i think it's absolutely stunning there's so much going on i just hope they will reprint this in better cardstock so that's the Tower of the Kingdoms. Okay, and is this one the Outsider Art Tarot? I absolutely love this style of art. It's so abstract and out there. It comes in a huge box, and, and that's the guidebook. So it has like a full image on that side, and then a write up about it. The only thing that lets this down is the pippish uh, miners, but I really like the court card designs as well. That's the guidebook. And I love how funky this box is with the checkered packaging and everything. I just think it's really cool. That's what um it's quite big thick cards. That's what the backs look like. They're slightly um glossy a little bit. And I do like this, and the reason why I've kept this is because it has keywords on it. And I know it's a bit hippish. Uh, all the cards are identical pretty much. Just with an extra sword added on, which is a shame. Uh, it's very hip deck. But it does have keywords to help and things. So I suppose that makes it a little bit better. But <laughs> it's still a pet peeve of mine. Like, look how much work they've put into the court cards and the major cards. Why didn't they just follow through and do that with the minor as well? It's just really frustrating when um, creators do this. But I do love the other cards. I think it's beautiful artwork. Very childlike and abstract. And I just think it's stunning. I do really enjoy these other cards. That's why I've kept it. I really like the mixed media look of this. Weird little creatures and everything, and very beautiful deck. But then you get this, <laughs> and it doesn't sort of match that well with it. It was just strange that they've decided to do that. But the other card's brilliant. That judgment card. Yeah, and then you just get a bunch of cups. <laughs> so annoying. But I do like this deck with the other cards, so I just um, deal with it. Like, it just seems just so different. But yeah, the other cards are great, so I do like it for that. I don't use this one as much because of that, but I do like it in my collection because I do like the other art. And that's the uh, outsider art. Okay. I'm going to show you this one, Tower of the Sephiroth. This has been on my wish list for such a long time, but it is out of print and really expensive online. Well, I eventually decided to buy it anyway because I just love how it's illustrated. I just think it's beautiful. So. Um, it came in pretty good condition considering how old this is. Uh, I did pay quite a bit of money for it, <laughs> but I have no regrets. I think this is a beautiful deck. So that's what the backs look like.
and it comes with a little guidebook as well with a slight bit of damage to it, but that's okay. When was this made? 1999 this was made. So I've got a bit of information on the cards. How old this deck is, I think it's in pretty good condition. And I love the pops of colour in this. It is a bit pippish and star, but I bought it because I absolutely love how the majors were illustrated. This is more foth based. But I just love this artwork. I think it's beautiful. Stunning deck. I really like the major cards. And even the uh, minor, even though they're like fothy or Marseille hippish style, I like the bright colours. So. Very pretty deck. We really like the major so much. I'm glad I have this. This is more of a, a definite collector's piece for me because it's such an old deck. I don't use it as much. I have used it a couple of times. I should use it more, but I just don't want to damage it. <laughs> I really, really like this deck. I think more when I get used to like, the FOF system a bit more, I'll probably use this more. I think it's this magician card is absolutely wonderful. I love it. So cool. Ooh. Clumsy today, dropping things. <laughs> But yeah, this is great day. I love the bright colours. And one I've been eyeing up for years and just never bought. And then I had an impulse moment and bought it. <laughs> I really hope they re-release this deck. I'd buy it, definitely. There's so many old cool decks out there that are out of print that should be re-released because I think they're absolutely great and people that weren't like in 1999 I was what 11 years old I wouldn't have picked this up because I didn't get into the sort of tarot until I was about 14, 15, 13 years old and back then I was just getting like the decks you'd find in like Woolworths and that sort of thing so yeah this is a uh, Tower of the Sephiroth Another deck I have is this one, the Moon Baby Tarot. This is a, a remake of an old deck. This is a recolored version of the Hoi Polloi that was released in the 70s. And it's got a more vibrant feel to it. This was created by a tarot tuber, but I don't think they post videos anymore. So I don't know what happened there. But I really do like this deck. I think it's the colors really pop. We get this like pale pink edging. It's beautiful. And that's what the backs look like. It's kept the imagery the same, just recolored in like really awesome seventies style colors. And it comes out with a little miniature guidebook that like, folds out and everything. But yeah, I really, really like the color palette of this. And they really just brought the hoi polo back to life because that deck is hard to get hold of, and it had really bright, vibrant colors. But this one sort of represents colours you'd associate with the 70s and more about that I like the retro sort of colour scheme and everything I just think it's beautifully done they've reworked all the original artwork and cleaned up the lines and made a really nice deck it's a nice matte cardstock as well yeah I don't know what happened to that YouTube creator I just haven't posted in a long time now so I do really like this deck I think it's great Done a really good job on it and making it really beautiful. I just love the clashes of colours, like the orange browns and pinks and oranges. It's such a cool colour combination with the teal and stuff. I just think it's really, really cool. Great deck. I think it's awesome. Yeah, it's just a great take on the Hoi Polloi one, which had quite vibrant colours anyway. But 
can't get hold of because it's ridiculously priced because it's out of print so I've got this one instead which I'm happy with so that's the moon baby tarot next second I have is this one the handle tarot I think I'm pronouncing that right this one focuses a lot on religious um figures so here it says the symbolism of esoteric and religious traditions native american holy grail i ching kabbalah and runes and the four suits relate to the elements and cultures and i really like the art style of this i'm not one to really have decks that represent different religious traditions but it's nice to have something in my collection that shows that off and everything comes with a little book but i think you can get a bigger book that goes with this deck and backs it like this, got an eye on the back, and they're pretty cool. I love the textured look of the artwork of this, really well done. They have different things here, like I Ching, which I'm not really familiar with to be honest. And it has uh, keywords, and yeah, it's just I really just enjoy the art style. Look how amazing that is, like a cave. Paintings. Oh, blank cards. <laughs> I just really like the detail of this art style. Again, it's a bit pippish, but okay. I'm going to just to get over that some cards that are not fully illustrated even though that's my preference <laughs> because some of the major cards are really beautifully done and then they don't do it at the minor so i'll just buy them anyway <laughs> sometimes i use majors as in readings alone without the minor depends what i'm doing a reading about so Yeah, here we've got our different cultures and religions and stuff. I just really like how it's been drawn. I think the artwork is absolutely beautiful. A lot of detail. Yeah, beautiful cards. And that's the um, Handle Tarot. I how is this one? The Angel Tarot cards by Radley Valentine. I never had this when it originally came out and it was um with Doreen Virtue I just didn't speak to me during them times when it was popular I do have this edition I just really like this for when I'm not feeling the tarot because it has a message on these cards I can use it more as an oracle deck rather than a tarot deck because I can just read the message and I don't have to think too hard about it. And then days where I want a bit of self-care or just stressed out and just still want to pull a card, but I just don't want to do the work. <laughs> Basically, it's what these cards are like. And it comes with a guidebook with information and everything. So I, just, I bought these for that reason. I really like the backs of these. It's really beautiful. Yeah, it's just a deck that has elementals as the minor. And then it just has a little message at the bottom, which for days when I'm not feeling up to it, I'll just read that and that's my reading done for the day. <laughs> and we all have their ups and downs, don't we? Like, it's hard to do daily draws every day because sometimes you just don't have the energy to do so. And I like that it's got a um, keyword and then it has a angel association with it, but I don't really take much notice of that to be honest. I'm not really well versed in angels that much just i wasn't brought up with a christian background or anything like that really i don't really know that much only through like tv shows and stuff but yeah i just really like this one for i like the colorful backgrounds and the artwork and everything. i think that's really well done i just like the little messages underneath I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, I just really like the art and yeah, I just 
news of an exciting new endeavor use your originality in ingenuity just simple and easy <laughs> so it's like having decks for those days when i'm just not feeling up to reading yeah. tarot and that's angel tarot cards by radley valentine that i have had for a long time and use it as the same as the angel tarot cards as this one the guardian angel tarot cards this is the original one i think this you can't get like reprinted it's a, out of print i think i really like this one this is the same use where i'm just not feeling up to reading tarot and it's got a nice message underneath and i really like the vintage look of these deck and this the what the book looks like see it's quite well worn in <laughs> i've used it back in the day doesn't really close anymore but i just think this is a great little deck like the vintage it's quite um simple in design and it's got the old sort of victorian imagery going on but the message on here is just like a hug deck i guess you call it when you're feeling low and don't have the mental capacity to really read and you can just pull one of these cards and just read that message and it's sort of um comforting deck the messages on here are quite nice really like this one yeah it reminds me of like a really old victorian story books like the artwork and everything i think it's quite a cute little deck like the old vintage sort of wallpaper <laughs> Yeah, that's a really nice day. I really like this one. It's a shame we can't get it. Right. And it won't re release. I don't know why that was. This is a great. I preferred this one to the Angel Terror Brother. I really like this Guardian Angel one. It has quite. It's got quite a long message on there as well. And the backs look like this. And it has got gold edging on it which is a bit worn down now <laughs> over the years i've used it so it's held up pretty well yeah i really like this one guardian angel tarot cards if they can show you this one the mid-centurion tarot this is by madame clara they do quite a few different decks i love the cardstock of this this is great i love the backs look how amazing the backs are bright and vivid but it's that linen sort of beautiful cardstock really nice to shuffle and i really like the backs of the cards think they're awesome and it's got sort of like vector kind of artwork kind of reminds me a bit of the saki saki tarot in style but i really like this sort of art i think it's pretty neat i think it's quite cool follows rws pretty much I just really enjoy the quirkiness of it all and strange little characters you have in this. I really like the um, textured effect of the digital artwork. I think that's a nice touch to it. It gives it that sort of oldish feel, even though it's quite modern digital vector artwork. But yeah, it's really beautiful. I really like it. And it's so nice to shuffle too. So. <laughs> yeah, it's just basically a copies the rws imagery in their own style really nice deck though i'm not sure if you can still get this one not really sure i've had this for quite a while now but yeah the backs are great i really like the back so that's the mid centurion tarot next deck i have is this one the circo tarot this one is such an old deck I'm pretty sure this has been re-released. This one was sort of self-published ages ago. Like the box is huge, doesn't even match the cards or anything. It's just really like definitely like an indie sort of printing. And it come with this little guidebook with the information and everything. But I'm pretty sure this got uh, redone. And I don't know if um, some cards were changed as well, but I do have it somewhere. I just can't find it at the moment. I thought it'd be with this one, but sort of back to it like on this edition anyway 
quite thick uh, glossy sort of cards i really like the um, style of art of this one so this is the circo tarot so wondering. might recognize this i don't know what the other decks name the same or not i really can't remember now yeah, I just really like the colours of this, I think it's quite cool. Glossy and cardstock. I just really like the characters and how it's drawn and everything. It's so bright. I think it's a great little deck. One I've had for quite a long time. <laughs> I don't know if there's even any publishing information of this anywhere. Because it's obviously been handmade, like the booklet and that. I don't think there's any dates on here. Oh, 2017, there we go. That's when I got this. Gosh, I like the art style. It's really cute. Love how bright and colourful everything is. And it's easy to read with this deck. Cool. I don't know why that will reverse around the wrong way. <laughs> but yeah, it's a really pretty deck. Very young looking sort of deck. Definitely something I really liked back when I was younger anyway. The magician card's cute. Yeah, so that's the Circo Tarot. Another deck I have is this one, Autonomic Tarot. I did have the Majors Only one of this, but they've recently um, recreated this and made it a full deck. My box came damaged when this arrived and I was quite annoyed by that, but I didn't bother sending it back. I just kept it. Yeah, basically, like the whole thing just falls off apart. <laughs> so hopefully, no one else's deck's got as damaged as mine. But I think it was just how it was packaged, and it just the cards basically fell out the bottom of the box. So <laughs> came with a little book there. It comes with a, you can get a separate book with this as well. But I really like the colours and the art of this. Really cute looking. But yeah, it came only with like the majors and a few other of the minors, not all of them. So they've now added, made it into full deck, which I appreciate because I really do like this art. I think it's really cool. Beautiful art style. I think it's so neat. Very unusual. Yeah, it's just really cool. Can be a bit pippish, but it's okay. I like the backs too. They're cool. Hard stock, okay, not the greatest. But it's from an um, independent publisher, Rough Trade Book. Uh, yeah, I don't mind the pippish miners because I like the artwork anyway, the court cards and majors. I'm just glad it's now a full deck rather than just the major only. But yeah, I really like this one. Glad to have added the full one into my collection. That's the Autonomic Tarot. The deck I absolutely love is this one, the Tarot of Gemstones and Crystals. This is the really older edition. I think there's a new one now, slightly different um, borders or something like that. But this is a great little deck. Came with its guidebook. This one was made in 1996, this deck. So yeah, it's been quite well loved. <laughs> the backs look like. I just love um, crystals anyway. I'm a massive crystal collector. And I really just like the close-ups you get of each thing. I just thought it was a really cool deck to have.
I think it's I like having photos of crystals, so it makes it easier. It also names what it is, so easier to identify. Sometimes I'm crystal, even though I'm an absolute crystal lover, I do get stumped on some of them sometimes. Because some crystals do look very, very similar. And if you're not a complete expert, it's really easy to misidentify certain rocks. So <laughs> I'm glad it has that there. And some of them are not that too familiar with like I don't know I've heard of this one before so I really like that about this deck that it didn't just show like the mainstream crystals that most people are aware of it just showed others as well I just really like that about this deck I think this is a charming little crystal deck I really like it and you don't really get a lot of crystal tarot decks either mainly you get oracle decks that are crystal related so I had to have this one because it's crystal tarot and it combines two of my lovely special interests into one because <laughs> I love crystals and I love tarot so it's a great little day. I really like this one and that's tarot of gemstones and crystals I have is this one the dual tarot we like the majors in this one this one's a bit um, pippish in style and get into it I do like the bright colours and everything. The backs look like, I think the backs are beautiful. Guide books in the middle of that. The guide book looks like. Uh, I really like the imagery in the majors of this deck. I think it's really beautifully well done. And I like it's got um, keywords on it too. But then it goes into huge numbers for the miners, but it does have the keyword on it. So I just like how bright and colourful this is. I love this star card. I think that's absolutely stunning. You can see the reflection in the water. I just think the majors are very well done. I think I shared this in my one of my favourite Empress art video. I just really like that depiction of the Empress. Yeah, it's a really cute little deck. And I'm just glad that there's keywords. I'm just having a number. So, cool deck. And you can tell what suit it is by how the colours of the background of the numbers. So, it's easy to know that's the nine of air. That's the five pentacles. Extra card. Yeah, it's just a really cool deck. We really like the artwork, and that's the Jewel Tarot. The deck I'll show you, I've had for a really, really long time. One of the first sort of decks I bought. I even kept it pristine in this little thing. Every time I used it, I'd put the plastic sleeve back on. I don't know why. This is the Golden Thread Tarot and I think this is an indie deck I bought yonks ago and it comes with like a digital guidebook so you get the meanings and everything and I just like the simplicity of this deck and yeah I, I was very precious with this because it's one of the first decks I had I didn't have as many as I do now so I really love the gold on it. These are plastic cards as well. So these are going to last me and they've got black edging. That's what the backs look like. But I always feared that because it's a plastic card and it's got this gold, gold foiling on it that the gold would rub off but it hasn't. So but yeah I was very precious of this deck because I was worried about that. <laughs> but it's definitely waterproof because I don't know if you can hear that. Plastic cards. <laughs> 
and they don't have the horrible plastic smell like another plastic card decker have so it's good <laughs> but yeah i, was, I love this simplicity artwork of this back when i bought it i have no idea when i bought it now it was ages ago it doesn't have a year on the box or anything but i really like this one One I don't see a lot on YouTube, maybe it's because it's been out for such a long time. And I don't know if people like plastic cardstock, but I like knowing it's not going to get ruined by the elements. <laughs> if I took it to the beach or something, I knew it would be safe because it's waterproof, essentially. I just love the shiny building and stuff. I think it's really cool and I like the uh, depictions as well it's fully really illustrated and you get the main sense of the card I think it's really cool one I haven't used in years I must admit I haven't pulled this one out in a long long time it's just one of the classic ones I've had and just sat in the drawer just being my like nostalgia deck, I guess. <laughs> Brings me back to that time when I was just first getting into tarot and loving this deck. <laughs> yeah, I really like this one. Brings up a lot of good memories of when I was a little tarot learner. <laughs> that's the Golden Thread Tarot. They can, I think that's their website, and it's just a really cool deck. The deck I have is this one, the Cirque de Whimsy Tarot. I've only recently got this one off eBay. I love like the handmade feel of this one, like see so the stitching on the front. I think that's so neat. And this was from 2008, this deck. Is that 8 out of 30, maybe? It's crazy to me that like, this was being sold on eBay and I just couldn't resist. It's like a really cardboardy box. And it comes with like it'll print out how to use the tarot and stuff really really cute deck I haven't used this that's what the title card looks like that's what the backs look like I think it's really cutely drawn and everything but yeah it's still in order because I haven't used this yet it's got quite big borders I really like the artwork it's a bit graphic some of them <laughs> Uh, I just really like the style. Yes, yeah, so I'm a bit precious for this one because I know it's you don't really see this one around. So I'm probably is why I'm reluctant to start using it. <laughs> but really cool quirky deck. Like all the little Creatures and everything. Oh, dropping them. I love how vibrant the backs are. I just think they're so cool. Yeah, not much to say about this one because I haven't really used it yet. I just appreciate the art. Um, never heard of this deck until I found it on eBay. Very different. Um, I love these little gems you find online sometimes. I'm just lucky as I have this in possession, really. I think it's really, I love that Eight of Pentacles. That's really cool. Yeah, it's really well illustrated and it's a great little deck. That's the Cirque de Whimsy Tarot. Deck I backed on Kickstarter a few years ago now. This one, The Book of Shadows, an alchemist story. I really like their art style. They had another deck out before this which was black and white but I don't have that one I only have this new one comes with a lot of extra added content like videos and a book a massive book that goes with it and everything but I just really like the way this looks I like the extra cards as well the mirror in the mirror I think that's really neat back to it like this Quite simple backs, really. 
This is um, what the art looks like. Quite glossy and style. Cardstock's pretty decent as well. It's got that um, sort of saki saki sort of art style where it's all quite angular and abstract sort of people and everything. Uh, I really like how it's drawn. I really like that style card. And it follows RWS. It has its own like little story to it, which I haven't really delved into that much. There's quite a lot of um, extra content related to this deck, but, just, but to just read it as a tarot works just fine to me, without looking at all the extra things associated with this. I will look at it properly soon. But I love all like the lighting up here, it looks like little fireflies or something. I just like their little extravagant outfits and like the colouring and how it's done. It's really well drawn. We really, really like the style of it. It's pretty cool. I like the backgrounds too. There's a lot of detail in these. I think this deck's pretty awesome. But I definitely need to read the book more to get first in the Book of Shadows. It's an alchemist story, so there's obviously a big storyline involved with this. I just haven't looked into it yet, <laughs> but I will. I think it's a beautiful deck. And I plan on using that's the Book of Shadows, an alchemist story. There's this one. This is the International Icon Tarot. I love this deck, I think this is great. Oh, I can always admit, like, if I ever got so good at tarot that I became a professional reader, I think this would be a deck I would always pull out. Comes with a little guidebook. Just a few keywords and things like that. I really like the backs, I think they're pretty cool. What I love about this deck is it, all those signs you see, like, um, safety signs, hazard signs, you always get the icon person. <laughs> and I just think this is so universal that anyone can relate to this deck because it's just basically sign people. <laughs> like you see like the walk-in sign and everything, it just everyone recognises it. This was made in 2003. And I think if I was ever a professional tarot reader, I'd use this because it's got the main imagery of the tarot card. It's basically an RWS clone but just in this style of like, icon people and I just think it would be a great deck to have but it's not race or elderly based or anything it's just um icon people <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it really it's just I think this would be a great one for anybody to use if you had a wide selection of people that are interested in having tarot reading done. Not, I'd ever do a professional tarot readings, I'm just not that great. Uh, sometimes friends are like, oh, do a reading for me. I'm like, you know I'm rubbish and use guidebooks, right? <laughs> and they're like, that's fine, I still want one. So I'll do it for friends if they want one or like maybe like family member if they want one. But generally I don't read for other people. I normally I just read for myself. But I just love how this is so relatable for everyone. And you've got the main imagery here, and I just love how bright and colourful it is too. Definitely one of my favourite decks. I really like this one. Don't see it a lot online actually. But I just love it for that. So all like the icons are different colours and everything, so it's not like oh yeah, it's got the happy squirrel card in it as well. <laughs> Yeah, I just thought this would be a good universal deck to have. That's why I suppose it's called the International Icon, because you can use it all over the world and people will recognise the little icon person. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to portray, like, my thoughts here. Are not, I know what I mean in my brain, but I can't put it into words. But I hope you know what I mean. But... 
I really like this deck because it's so colourful and bright. So, yeah, that's the International Icon Tarot. Another deck I have is this one, the Black Light Tarot. This is similar to the other tarot deck I showed you in the previous video. This one's so brightly coloured and this one shines in neon light. And I just think that's really awesome. So if you have a black light, it will light up like that. And uh, when I saw that, I was like, I need this. Imagine if I went to a cool rave party and I used to look like I'd ever read cards at a party, but my brain went there and I was like, I can't pass this up. I'm going to have to get this deck. So let me just show you cards. You can see the neon there. That's what the backs look like. Very cool. A bit of damage on that one. Unfortunate. I don't know how that happened. Annoying. I hate when dark cards get damaged. But look how you can see how bright that is and how much that's going to light up in the black light, UV light. Amazing. Let me show you the cards now. There is a slight strong smell to this. It's probably because it's UV reactive. But look how bright and colourful that is. It's very 70s sort of vibe going on here. The colours of the clothing and how it's drawn. And I just love how bright and vibrant it is. I think it's so cool. Beautiful, brightly coloured deck. I think it's fabulous. Very spacey too. Very trippy. <laughs> like... Peace man with the pentacles all like peace signs and I just think it's so fun. I like um redrawn RWS in a different colour palette style. Uh, and the novelty of it lighting up in UV light is fantastic. <laughs> and I'm sure I'll use this at a party at some point, maybe. Maybe if I had a few friends over or something, I could I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna use this for, but the possibility is there. That I might use it for something like this, but unlikely. But I like to have that option if it the occasion arises. I'll go to some crazy UV party or something. But yeah, I'm a sucker for anything UV. Like I have a lot of crystals that light up in UV, and I, I do have a UV torch, and I do occasionally like look at my crystals in UV lighting because it's quite fascinating how rocks just light up in crazy colours. And I suppose I could do reading in UV lighting if I wanted to. I've got a torch for it. <laughs> it's like fun to do, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, I just really like how bright and colourful it is, even when it's not under crazy UV light. But yeah, it's the sort of effect you'll get. Like it shows in the box there. That's what it would look like. But yeah, this is an awesome deck. This is the Black Light Tarot. Another deck I have, it's sort of 70s inspired style and everything, is this one, the Aquarius Tarot. This is a redrawn RWS with like a 70s outfits and colour scheme. I just really like the bright and vibrancy of it all, so I really like this deck for that too. I think this is pretty cool. It doesn't come with a guidebook, but it's just your RWS redrawn. I really like the 70s sort of text there, I think that's a nice touch to this deck. Yeah, I just really like the bright, vibrant colours and everything. Yeah, I really like the retro sort of um, 70s and 80s colourful vibe it had. Like, everything just seems so boring and bland now. Like, like just looking at like interior design and stuff, everything's like grey or beige or black or just like really boring colours. And I miss the days where everything was colourful and bright and textured and like flower power and a bit hippie and just really cool colours. I think that we're missing that in our lives. Everything just feels so grayscale now and it's just miss that vibrancy of like brightly coloured chairs or and if you do buy things like that they're really expensive because they're like arty like furniture and not that like a Piece of furniture you can just get from like DFS or something, or like some. I just like like patchwork and like bright colours, and I like show having that in decks. And I really like the backs of these. Like, imagine having a wallpaper like that in your home. That'd be amazing. Really bright and colourful, but yeah, everything's just 
feels so dull. If I get my own house and um, I'll decorate it really weirdly. I can imagine it now. <laughs> but yeah, this is the Aquarius Tarot. Got this in 2017. It's a cool little deck. Been talking about grey decks. This one I want to show you next. The Tower of Many Doors. This is kind of like black and silver in the colours. The back of the box looks like. I think it's strange how like, how much different tastes I have in decks. I do really love colourful decks though, but I do like these limited colour palette decks too. That's what the um, sides look like. The backs look like this. I love how it's loads of doors at the back. And there's like slight foiling there with like, silver. It's like different pathways you could enter and everything else. I have a thing about portals and doors. I just think it's really fascinating imagery to have. And it comes with a little mini guidebook. I'm pretty sure there's another guidebook associated with this, but I don't have it. But yeah, they renamed some of the things. So cups is potions, swords are wires, and dice are coins. This is quite a different deck, but it's quite renamed a lot of the cards and stuff like that. All that sort of different creatures and things going on. It's got its own little world happening. I do quite like it aliens and spacey theme going on and I think it's quite cool. Bit hippish. Bought this on eBay. I just the title of the deck intrigued me. It said Tower of May Door, so I was just saw a few of the cars and I quite like the art style so I went for it. <laughs> Haven't really used it that much. I think it's hard to read with a little bit because um, it's like it has the RWS elements to it, but some of it's not always so clear, and it's got like renamed cards and things. So I haven't used it as much as I should. But seeing I'm on part four of my tarot collection, I think it's a bit hard to use over a hundred decks. <laughs> And I'd have way more to show you as well, so uh, I'm intrigued to see what the final count number would be of my collection because I'm in draw two now. So definitely be up there in number two, three hundred mark. I'm estimating. So we shall see. But that's the uh, Terror of Many Doors. Another deck I have is this one, the R Text Tarot deck by Rebecca Bloom. I like the art style of this one. They're, this came in two different formats, one with questions on the back. That would have um, the same imagery as this, but then there'll be a question about, or you could have one with just the backs on them. I have both editions, but I prefer this one because I found the questions that were on the back of the other edition just didn't really sit with me with the meanings I have associated with tarot so I prefer this one instead but I really like the watercolour art style I think it's really pretty and it's got um like a keyword on it as well I just think it's really beautiful and you can tell which um, suit is which by the colour like green pentacles even though it's renamed spirals and cups are the same, but when they're blue, I just really like watercolour and how it looks and everything. I think it's really raw in art style too. Hanged one. Wheel Fortune. That's a great keyword actually, a turning point, Wheel Fortune. Yeah, we really, um like the art style in there. So this on um, Instagram, this deck. But yeah, I prefer this addition to the one with the questions on the back. I thought the other one would be good for journal prompts, but because I didn't 
questions didn't sit well with me with the hard meaning it just, just didn't work i suppose if you're just using it as a journal prompt that you could it's got the questions on the back anyway so there are multiple ways you could use the other edition but i prefer this one with just the cool colored backs i really like the art style i think it's really nice Really cool deck, really like this one. So this is the Artex Tarot deck. And the last deck I'm going to show you in this video is this one, the Frank Pinter Tarot. I like this artist's work and it's been curated into a tarot deck. I've only recently got this, so I haven't really used it yet. But I just wanted to see it because I like the artist. And it's got multiple languages and things and meanings on here. It's a low scarabeo deck. But I just like the art. I think it's really, really well. Beautiful. And I like the choices they made for the cards. So obviously the artwork wasn't done for with Tara and mine. They've just took some of his artwork and associated with the meaning. I thought it was quite well how they curated it as well. So I think this is I do like collecting like famous artists' decks when they're not essentially made for tarot, but if I like their style, I'll definitely grab it because I do, do like it. It's like having a little mini art gallery in your hands, isn't it? <laughs> so I like sort of just going to the art gallery to see their work. You already have it, you know, smaller version of it. So cool. Yeah, it's really quite surrealistic in some of the art styles, so I'm kind of drawn to it. I really like these cards. Like this one, the Hangman, such a weird card. <laughs> Love it. I do like that Hermit card as well. Yeah, it's just really, really cool. And this one you see all the time. Because on Low Scare Bear, I always have that as the extra card they put in their decks. And now you know where it came from. It came from... Frank Pinter's work. If I'm saying his name correctly, I don't know if I am. <laughs> but yeah, I just really like the style and everything. It's pretty cool. So yeah, that's my hundredth deck I've shown you guys so far. So it's exciting that I've got this far in filming. I didn't think I'd follow through with these videos. I'm terrible at starting things and never finishing them. So <laughs> but yeah, that's uh, the Frank Pinter Tarot. Uh, that's we're in the draw two now of my collection. Finished draw one. Now we're I don't know almost halfway through draw two. So we see how many decks I have at the end of this um, tarot collection video. <laughs> so it's all kind of exciting, really. And yeah, I really enjoy filming these actually because I get to go through all my decks again. And sometimes some of them I even forgot I had. <laughs> Kind of bad, isn't it? I completely forgot I had the Golden Thread Terry, and that's like a well loved one I've had for such a long time. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate everyone commenting and liking on this video and everything, and people like engaging with me on my tarot collection. I really enjoy replying to everyone and everything. So, yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next collection video. Bye.